welcome. In today's demo, we will be learning about the Explore workbenches and how they improve upon the functionality that was provided by the legacy workbenches. The new workbenches can be found in the left navigation menu under the heading Explore. Let's start by navigating to the Findings workbench. At first glance, we observe that the Findings Workbench has multiple tabs that the user can navigate through to explore the different types of findings that are present in their organization. These are vulnerabilities, cloud misconfigurations, host audits, and web application findings. The next key improvement in the new Findings Workbench is the support for both basic and advanced filtering. The user can switch between these two types by clicking the advanced or basic button respectively. In the basic filtering mode, the user has a quick way to determine if informational findings should be displayed via the include info severity toggle. There is also an easy way to filter relevant findings based on when they were last seen via the filter on the top right side of the page. In the advanced filtering mode, the user has the ability to, to query their findings using a more complex query structure that could Im include nested filters and multiple operator types. For example, we could add a filter with CV SS B V2 base score uh, greater than 4.5 or CV SS V3 base score greater than 4.5 and click apply. In this example, we observe that uh, we have the use of the OR operator as well as the AND operator in a nested fashion. The Findings Workbench allows the user to save a common uh, set of commonly used filters as a saved filter to access later or share with other members of their team. In order to demonstrate this, I will now create a new saved filter. This saved filter should now be available later on for any members of the team. The Findings Workbench provides multiple grouping options for the user to view their findings in, one of which is to display the findings without any grouping applied. This is an improvement over the legacy workbench that only allowed the user to group by plugin and asset. There are many ways to customize what is displayed in the findings table. The user can customize which columns should be displayed and in which order. They can also reset to defaults or reset the column width. Another way the user can apply filters to the results displayed is by right-clicking on a value that is interesting to them and choosing to filter by value. Or if they do not wish to see results with that particular value, they can choose to filter out value. For example, if I would like to ignore uh, results having severity medium, I could, could choose to filter out this value as displayed. Upon selecting one or more findings, the user has the option to export the findings as a PDF or a CSV or to generate a report based on an existing template. The user can schedule this report and have it emailed to them. Thank you.